This story tells about the courage of an artist to face despair and madness, illness and mourning. The courage to survive and express his personality in one of the most iconic styles in art history. To find eventually his salvation. This is the story of Edvard Munch. He was born in Lothen, Norway in 1863. His youth was devastated by a number of terrific events. The death of his mother when he was only five years old. His elder sister died when he was 14. His younger sister, Laura, was a victim of mental disease. His brother Andres died in 1895. This series of events brought him to the vision of his life as destined to illness. I came into the world to be sick. The snow froze my roots. Sigmund Freud in these years is working on hysteria, discovering its roots in the sexuality. Whilst Munch is facing his inner demons, Freud is facing the reactions of the scientific community. The emptiness that formed around me, the insinuations that reached me, made me understand that opinions on the role of sexuality in the etiology of neurosis could not be expected to be accepted in the same way as revelations of another kind. I realized that I would be one of those who have disturbed the sleeps of the world. A psychoanalytic view on Edward Munch should attempt to understand the deepest roots of his personality in order to determine how the severe traumas of his infancy impacted on his overall balance. My hypothesis about the deep layers of Munch's unconscious starts from the formation of his sexual identity. The natural discovery of love and attraction that every human being lives in the infancy, in the case of Munka as a boy with his mother, has been tragically interrupted by her death when Edward was only five. This early loss of the mother has reasonably created in Munch the intertwining between libido and death. But even more despair will hit his life. When he was 15, his elder sister Sophia died. This has been a further trauma, hitting his libido and his trust in love, because it is reasonable that his sister took the place of the mother in the unconscious of the young Edward, as substitute of the primary female figure. In The Sick Child, painted in 1885, Munch tried to elaborate the trauma for his sister's death. Death tragedies represented an inhibition to a joyful sexuality in his adult life, leaving much room to anxiety and distress. In 1889, Munch traveled to Paris where he admired Gauguin, Toulouse-Lautrec, Van Gogh, the artists who mostly began to change point of view in visual arts, from the harmony with nature of the early Impressionists towards innovative interpretations based on their personal inner conflicts. Monk was finding his own style after a few experiments with the Impressionistic light. In these years he reached his maturity. <laughs> 